Hello, I'm Matt and welcome back to Sovereign RPG. Today is going to be talking about a little bit of the Dragon Age Veil vale and what's been going on over the past week or two or months, depending on how you look at it or where you started looking at it, from complaints about a cartoony aesthetic, which I have to say from the beginning, when I first saw the Velgard vale trailer, I immediately turned around to the missus and I turned around to her and I said, let me just show you something, let me just show you something. And I showed her the, the actual trailer itself and I said, now look at this. Now tell me what the difference is. And she immediately said it looked like a disney pixar type thing and how the darkness had gone from it and i didn't realize how much it had gone from it but then if you noticed in the trailers and all that you could see that there was no blood there was no bad stuff going on no one was screaming and shouting there was no death i mean uh, if, if you look at dragon age origins in the first one and i mean an opening scene you got hundreds of people dying there's blood going everywhere you got Blood, people stabbing people in rituals in the opening bloody chapter but i have to say this is going to be all over the place because i'm just going to be sitting there complaining about stuff and then talking about other things that a lot of people aren't talking about the player expectations how they're too high how they're expecting a bioware team that isn't the same bioware team 15 years ago to write the same as the team that was 15 years ago it's just an impossibility we will talk a bit about that and we'll talk a little bit about the general bullfuckery that's been going on with a lot of games recently there's many examples of games that were dark and twisted and funny and great and had very good aspects going to them that then got a reboot remake reshuffle and it literally turned into a marvel franchise saints row being one of them i loved saints row one i love saints row two it got a bit stupid at saints row three with some of those dlcs and god and angels and aliens and all that kind of stuff it got a bit too silly but then when you look at the newest one it's just what the fuck is that there's it's just absolutely insane what they did with saints row saints row was such a good game and then it just went to shit and there's plenty of other games like it but today we're talking about dragon age i'm gonna i can go off in all different directions and i probably will end up going off in different directions so i apologize beforehand in case i do go off and start complaining and moaning about some shit that happens all over the place so let's talk about some of the things that have been going on when it comes to the reviews now we have skill up who did a really actually it was probably for me one of his best reviews i really liked the way he described everything in his video and he talked from the heart it really felt like he was talking from his heart from everything that he was saying he was actually genuinely disappointed it wasn't like a i'm gonna get click for views type stuff clickbait title with just standard hating on it just to hate on it he actually sounded like he actually cared about it and it really did hurt him and then you have other people like mortismal gaming who i have a lot of respect for i was watching his reviews years and years and years ago before i ever created a youtube channel and he was my go-to for going any rpg that i wanted to play if i wanted to play an rpg and he managed to get a little bit more i'd even watch his 100 percent reviews back in the day when they were like four months after the game released because i really loved his opinions on things now a lot of people started hating on mortismo and a lot of people started like hailing skill up and they're like the two, two opposites they're usually pretty in sync with each other everything that they say is pretty in sync with each other but when you have that at this moment in time where they have complete opposites of the spectrum you have mortismo who's saying it's a really good game the combat's really good but mortismo this one is not the kind of player or creator that cares too much about the things that skill up was complaining about so it really wasn't the fact that they were against each other it's just they had they had two different aspects of the game that they wanted me personally i'm all about the story i'm all about the writing i'm all about uh, the like the narrative and i'm um, i've really really fucking against forcing narratives on me that i couldn't give two flying fucks about but doing it in a way that makes you feel like they're literally shoving it down your throat so skill up talked about a lot of things that were going on with the actual writing the story how boring the gameplay was how repetitive it was how much of a sponge mechanic the the difficulty levels were now i haven't played the game yet i just wanted to say i haven't played the game yet at all i'm going to play it regardless of how much i'm actually hating everything right now because bioware was my favorite developer of all time created some of my favorite rpgs of all time going all the way back all the way back into the 90s like before they were bioware so seeing them go downhill pretty much from the start of ea was kind of like a thing that was it was devastating for me for a long time but people have to remember this is the thing you're only complaining about bioware now when bioware has been shit for years the best thing they've brought out for a long time was a remaster of a game that was already great and even that mass effect 3 was hated for its ended it was absolutely hated by nearly everyone but people keep forgetting that they that that was even a thing everyone's like oh mass effect is amazing the old dragon ages were amazing everyone hated dragon age 2 when it came out 
they hated the action combat they hated all that stuff it just depends on like wh <laughs> where we are and people were just like in masses if someone says they don't like something then all the masses come along and say it, even though they haven't even tried the game themselves which is a thing that it's kind of like for me even if i hear that a game's gonna be bad even if i look at it but i love the ip i love the lore behind everything i love the world behind it i'm looking at that game and i'm thinking i'm gonna play it anyway even if i don't like the way the trailer looks and blah 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 because i it could just be the direction of that trailer but the everything that's being coming out right now and there's there's so much stuff all over the place now i don't have social media like i don't have any social medias i don't have twitter or anything like that so the only times that i ever see anything that's written on twitter are, are from other content creators that are making videos on stuff so they they i've seen that some of the things that are on there there's people going a little bit nuts over there but the thing is these days you don't know who's genuinely doing it or who is actually just running an algorithm so it's, it's so hard for everyone it's so hard for people who are buying games to see whether a review is right real or correct or like even genuine because there's so many that you've got all the big the big guys you've got ign you've got all those people that are making their reviews and those reviews they've been dog shit for 20 years everyone like, like 20 i say 20 years that's a massive over exaggeration but they've been dog shit for a long time all of them no i don't understand how anyone even watches or listens or even goes to those big outlets of reviews i i really don't understand i haven't looked at an ign review for donkey's years i haven't looked at any kind of review like that there's a few people i usually go for i usually go for skill up i usually go for mortismal and even if like there'll be certain things that i actually get access to that i look at beforehand but like i'm just i'm a little tiny youtuber down there compared to these guys so i don't get the access they do there's just certain people out there that have like their opinions on the games themselves and the opinions on the games themselves are always gonna go one way or another because they have certain things that they like in games now they're usually very like on point with what they usually like i don't think i've ever seen a skill up video where he's turned around and he's done and said something that i don't believe he actually thinks and the same with mortismal gaming speaking about like the mortismal gaming thing and him saying what he actually thinks about the game he got so much hate in the comments for his video that he did praising fail guard praising dragon age fail guard to the point where he had to actually write a comment at the top explaining that he's not a shill because he could get fined and lose his channel and stuff like that which everyone bloody knows that so when people turn around and they, they see a youtube video and it doesn't have in the top left corner like i mean obviously there's people who do do it there's people who are getting paid by companies under the table and blah 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 do you think mortismal is the kind of guy that's gonna literally take a payment under the table to say that a game is really good i don't bloody think so like i really don't think so i've followed that guy for years and years and years and i, I he's just he enjoys games and he enjoys certain things in games and most of the games that he actually plays that they, they hit all the right chords for him and there are certain things in dragon age velgard that he's seen that he's played and he's enjoyed and he's liked it and he's reviewed it and people are just jumping on him and hating him for it which i find absolutely insane even if i do believe a lot of the things that the people are saying he doesn't care about that kind of crap he just goes with the flow when it comes to the the inclusion stuff and all that sort of thing he, it's not something that bothers him the romance relationships and all that kind of stuff doesn't bother him whereas someone like skill up might not the inclusion stuff might not be what bothers him but the writing and the storytelling and things being forced down people's throats and it not being it's being subpar and the, the, i mean again we go to the point where bioware isn't the same bioware there's there's not a single writer from knights of the old republic from the original dragon age from the original mass effect one two three and dragon age one two three none of them are there you've got a guy working there from that was posting stuff about like disability things being said in a persona 5 thing or something or other something i saw about that and it was just like everyone that seems to be working in the gaming industry or the movie industry or anything like that right now it seems to be like riding some dick wagon i don't understand why an entire industry it's not even just one industry there's several industries tv movies and the gaming industry is just going mental with ruining narratives and stories just to fit whatever bloody agenda everyone's got in their head and then you got people turning around and saying yeah well they got a round of applause one of the reviews that i read was absolutely fucking insane it didn't say anything about the game itself the review get, got a nine out of ten for their inclusivity that was all that was mentioned in the review was about inclusivity and that was it was nothing about the writing nothing about the story nothing about the action the gameplay the fight in the combat the everything there was nothing about that in the entire review it was just praising how they had certain things in there and i watched another i watched another review where someone was talking about taj and they were talking about taj and saying that like people are too scared to talk about that character 
when that character like literally contradicts itself through the some of most of the story parts that i've seen where they're like i follow the crew no i don't follow the crew now i'm not part of them i'm not part of this and it it was just all over the place like they didn't even read the beginning of the script of the bloody game and then just added bits as they went on and they didn't cross reference or cross check that they got anything right in the bloody first place like i really don't understand and the thing is that the vast majority of people like the vast majority of people are going to be buying this game anyway because most of them don't go on social media and listen to that shit. Most of them don't go onto YouTube and look at these things. We're a very small group of people on the internet. There are millions and millions and millions and millions and millions of gamers. Like so many. I, I don't even know what the average number was. I remember the stats before were a stupidly high number. I don't know what it is right now. Maybe you can let me down below if you know any of the statistics on how many people are actually enjoying uh, like playing games these days. But the vast majority of those people are like my dad's age. My dad just doesn't care care about reviews and stuff if he likes the look of the sound of a game or the look of a game from the from a trailer or whatever then he'll just go and buy it he won't review anything he won't look at reviews or anything he'll just buy it and there's plenty of people who do that i mean my dad's 60 years old so my dad's uh part of the boomer era but he does have like if he doesn't like something he'll he'll straight up say look this this was dog shit but he's not going to complain about the fact that he just spent money on it because they just don't care they have the money they have the right to spend that money and they have every right to play the game even if everyone else thinks this shit if they enjoy it they enjoy it i don't see why everyone is gonna hate on people like uh we're gonna go back to the mortismal thing a little bit i told you i'm gonna be all over the place because this is kind of a really heated thing for me because dragon age is one of my favorite franchises in gaming history so when i see that something that i love gets destroyed because of whatever bloody reason and whatever like it, it's just if it's ea pushing something then it's ea pushing something if it's bioware just being dog shit either way i remember the days when Bioware fought back against EA when the EA were trying to make decisions that would make the, the the development company shite and their stories shite and their writing shite. They used to fight against it. Then they all gave up eventually because EA's big and pushes and bullies and does all the stuff that they do. I mean, there was a time when Bioware was just the most inclusive. If you look at it in the way of like inclusivity and getting everyone in there and all the different kinds of... Bioware was one of the leading things 15 20 years ago when they were including everything when no one else would they were when they were including like same-sex relationships in games it was still at a time where people were just happy to shit on same-sex anything it was like against the norm to have something like that there was up in arms there was like oh family values and all this stuff in the u.s and uh, we can't have people. and they were trying to boycott the game because it had two girls kissing each other and two guys kissing each other and there was there was a lot of uproar i don't know if anyone actually remembers that there was a they, bioware got a lot of shit for their like inclusivity but the thing is the difference was with the inclusivity back then when it comes to like the inclusivity and the diversity and that sort of thing it wasn't really forced upon you and it, it was like it wasn't real life political motivated if you understand what i'm saying it wasn't like uh we do, we do, we have to put this in there no that was a design choice back then to put it in there to have these things in there to give a little bit of shock value to some people and a bit of uh make people feel better and make people feel like they, they can be inside of the game themselves and there's a lot of different kinds of people they used to hit it really bloody well another game that ruined it was last of us when last of us 2 came out and they did that shite and it went to shit and then they killed him off god damn it and there's me just sitting there just complaining about all kinds of other stuff now i want you to know that i'm not like i'm not saying that this shouldn't be done and blah 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 it's just the way it's done the way it's done is not okay it's not good but then you have to look at the fun i guess the whole point of this video i've been talking for bloody ages and it's just been talking about some other stuff and going off in different directions but our expectations of a bioware game should be deleted it's not the same bioware it's not the same company it's not the same people i don't even think there is a single person working in bioware right now that used to work at bioware back in the golden age of bioware they all mostly left an anthem like when they were making anthem most of them left before and well anthem was being developed because they didn't want to make a looter shooter they didn't want to do that crap they just didn't want anything to do with it so they left they went in different directions some of them went over to um work on uh knights of the uh, knights of the old republic star wars the old republic full time which was like an absolutely amazing mmo and the stories and lines storylines in that were pretty damn amazing to be perfectly fair but it's not the same thing you guys should have different expectations things change companies change stories change and all that kind of stuff like you should look at it in a, in a fresh light and you won't hate it as much 
unless it is really that bad who knows i could play the game tomorrow and it could be really really bloody bad and i could have a heart attack and i could be making another video tomorrow saying how fucking angry i am about it i just wish it wasn't such a big thing and i wasn't just like doom scrolling last night and then started seeing videos on dragon age and then i went down a dragon age Veilguard bloody rabbit hole and ended up watching loads of stuff about how bad it is and how the world is because it's, it's gonna make you biased it's probably gonna make me biased i'm probably gonna see things that i wouldn't have noticed before because of how everyone's talking about it which is another this is another story in itself how we can just be affected by one person saying one thing i just really hope it's not as bad as everyone makes it out to be as everyone's saying it is because I, I really would like to enjoy a new dragon age game so when it comes out tomorrow i'm just hoping that it actually is gonna be that way but we definitely have to check out when the game actually comes out and we can all get our hands on it and we can all play it for ourselves and then we'll really see how good or bad it is and the backlash now it could be really bad because if you go if the people are just still buying the game they're still going to be able to sell the trash because they th if they think that because it's selling millions of copies that is what people want it's not but we're a very small minority of people compared to the larger gaming landscape where like the people who actually care about this sort of thing are very small the people that care about the story and the writing and that sort of thing and they have a certain expectation of what the story and writing should be like for an rpg we're, we're just a different breed of people and I, I really need to like start to really move on from living in the 90s and early 2000s because they don't exist anymore i don't know how to get around it i don't know how to get around the fact that these things are happening and people hate it like because look at disney disney He's hated for all of the stuff that they're doing with Marvel and stuff like that, but they're still making the movies. They're still they're using Deadpool's money to like prop up the other shit movies that they're making. Uh, like I don't understand. I really don't understand what's going on with the world. I really have no idea. And this isn't me hating on anyone or any group in particular or anyone like that. I, I really just, I'm just a fucking neutral guy, man. I don't really like have an opinion on anything i'm just neutral on that shit but i don't like things being ruined in the shitty art directions and because it looks like a cartoony game and i'm just not really happy with it. but at least we still have the chance for mass effect to be pretty good i mean the the, the director of mass effect right now already jumped on uh, to social media and started saying well we're going to be photorealistic and we're still going to be dark and gritty and blah 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 and he talked about all that stuff so we still have that to look forward to hopefully We'll see. Anyway, I just wanted to come here and have a little bit of a rant, really. I just wanted to have a little bit of conversation and talk about it. So let me know down below what your thoughts are on all this. If I think, if you think our expectations are too high, if we're if we're trying to live in the past, if the writing is just really that shit and the storytelling is really that shit and all writers, modern writers are just dog shit and it's just... Because that's the kind of way I'm leaning to the the modern writers are being taught in a certain way that is like I, I don't know if it's taught in university or in school about the way to write and the ideas that are behind it and what's popular and what's not i don't understand what's popular on twitter is pretty much unpopular with the rest of the world so i don't know why anyone judges twitter as a way to like i don't know move forward with creative projects that would be bloody insane if everyone actually followed that but it seems like that's the way it is but anyway let me know down below what you guys think about this whole situation remember to like and sub for your gaming goodness fly safe and avoid local chess scams